Yeah, 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 what's up, my people? Now, you know, I'm in the gym right now. Guys, guys, let me do this video very quickly. I am writing this story from Maha, from Maharishi School of Management with love. Yes, it's true, I went to Kenya because the story before that is my maiden voyage to Nairobi, 1994. You see, I'm discovering a lot of things. It's previously the same thing I've done, you know. When I began writing about uh, my O-level, Musoka College Muiri, that's many years, about four years ago, five years ago, there was a lot of keen interest and uh, I was humbled by, by so many things that kind of rekindled everybody's memories and that's when I saw things like, you know, many things are coming up, coming up. And when I see them, I feel like I have a lot of memories. When I began the Makere High, same thing. I begin to write about my time. If you're following all the stories, and it's from that that something else comes out. Something good. Get together, something good, you know, uh, football, blah, blah. There's a lot of things. Now, what am I driving at? Our generation, many of us went to Kenya. We were in Kenya. You know, Twesanganga Kenya. Hey, you are so in Kenya. People went to India, people went wherever. We didn't go far, like America or London or wherever. But after A level, so what I'm saying is we're at Maharishi School of Management. Writing this story, I think I'm going to devour all the two a little bit because I'll give you a very good background. The school is no longer there anyway, unfortunately it's not there. The school is not there anymore. But there are a lot of memories of things and time gone by. You know, 1994 is coming to 30 years. So I have very good recollection of so many things that happened and uh, it will help me to document them in the story that we are putting together. Although it's a love story, a biopic, but it has given me the opportunity to pick up everything, you know. Of course, the love, the love story. Those who were in my, in my house, they know these things because uh, probably they, they would now start to put two and two together. And hey, Kegus, whatever, whatever. Yes. So, there we are. Of course, I'm not saying people who went to my Harishi can write something no I'm not telling people that but it will be very humbling one day we all meet up or meet each other or of course some things can never be the same people we've grown up and uh, you know responsibility and all that and uh, but the experience in Kenya sorry guys I'm sweating and uh, yeah so, I don't know, I don't know. This story has taken me many years back. I was asking myself, there used to be a lake behind the campus. I hardly doubt if any student knew that. That if you went and outside the gate and turned right, because we always turned left towards Limuru. But there is, uh -huh. when we were going to the football pitch, where we used to play football. And then if you detoured again, went down, there was a forest. After the forest, that's a shortcut to the Limuru girls behind. But there used to be a lake behind there. Very, very nicely down lawn. And I don't know, man, that place was very unique. So many things about Tigoni Limuru, but uh, I'm remembering so many things. So let's go back to the story. It's a love story. Uh huh. I fall in love, and then I fall in love. Then there is, a, you know, it's a double-edged sword and all that. But then it comes later on in the story. We are going to investigate so many things about uh, Maharishi and why I left Maharishi. Not why reason, but why in the story. 
<laughs> because a lot of drama used to go on in the school. But that's not part of the story. I'm not putting students in the story. The story is a story. And uh, that's it. Yep. From Maharishi with love is the story. Guys, I'm going to keep you on top of Imapenzi, Imapenzi, Awanawake, Nelikuwa, Nelifika, Kenya. Uh, no, many memories. Do you know I was learning Kikuyu? Kiswahili yangu ilikuwa tamtamu, samsamu, ivo, ivo, see? It's a long time now. I haven't spoken Swahili for a long time. It's, you know, this, but when I was in Kenya, I was pretty much fluent in it. So that's it. Uh, but uh, you accompanied me on this journey of this story. My maiden voyage to Kenya story was more to do with me going to study there with my mom she accompanied me she took me to that school and uh, she didn't know she was opening my life up to a lot of a lot of things you know so I was away on my own for the first time just finished my A levels I was excited to see the world out there if you saw Nairobi the way I saw it in 1994, the Akamba bus arriving at about 3 a.m. in the morning. The whole city was bright. People seemed to be everywhere. I'm like, what the hell? But because it was downtown as the bus from Westlands, it comes via Nyayo Road, is it Nyayo Road, then blah, 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 down to River Road. So you only saw the, the vibrant part of it, but it was so enticing, very enticing. And uh, that begins the whole story. And uh, but then when uh, we went to Limuru, that was much more isolation out of the, you know, what I had thought was going to be. So you had to make your life exciting, you know, you had to make everything yourself up. And uh, because I used to go jogging, that's when I opened up my world to, to see in Kenya. I made so many friends in Tigoni and Limuru. Maharishi School of Management was gated on the other side. So you came out, went for a jog in the tea estate. Uh, we shall see what we can bring in the story. And the forest as well, guys. <laughs> ah, love you. Let me go back to my class, eh? Let me go back to my class. Nice, nice.